Okay, the lazy artist. Here's the uh, the simple way to change skin tones after you've imported them. Um, this is actually an imported Daz uh, character here. So um, this will work with either Character Creator or iClone. It, it works the same way. Um, I just happen to be in Character Creator now because I figure that's your, your first step when you import. Um, so anyway, with you want the uh, the main character selected so just make sure the base is there the main character is selected go to modify go to the materials section and these are all the materials for the, the character if you click on say the head you will see the various uh, texture maps that make up that material the one we're concerned with is the base color if you right click on it you have the option to adjust color and from there you can actually make all kinds of tweaks um, you know the contrast hue saturation you can add a little red or subtract it add blue green blah 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 um, if you just want to change the general skin tone like say make make her darker you can just slide this down and we can make her darker to take it a second for it to make it look good. Um, so now you can either just remember that number and do them all, do it for all the other maps, or let me reset here, which you can do the easy, the easy way is just to hold down control while you select the other main body maps. So head, body, arm, and leg are all selected. Right click again on the base color, adjust color, now when you change the sliders, all of the skin tones will change at once. And it'll take it a second for it to not look crappy and splotchy. And there you go. Close it, and there, there you have it. The skin tone has changed. And the cool thing is you can actually do this with other things like the hair. So if, uh, if you wanted to adjust the hair color, um, you know, and maybe you want her to be a little bit of punk rock. Give her some blue hair. And you can also change it with the hue. The alternative to this is uh, you can also right click on it and say launch texture. And if uh, somewhere buried in the settings, um, I forget exactly where, I think the main settings for the, the program, you can define the path to your, uh, like for you it would be PaintShop Pro, and it'll launch PaintShop Pro with that texture. So I actually have it, uh, this is to my older version of PaintShop Pro, I never updated it. So I don't want to register. Okay, you get the picture though. It'll pop up in PaintShop Pro. Actually, um, well, let's see if we can find the thing. Let's see if I can find the settings and I'll change it properly. Preferences, maybe. Let's see. Yeah, here we go. Okay, so it's under texture settings. You would um, create the path. I think, I think it just saves. Let's see if that works. Texture. There we go. So now it loads up in PaintShop Pro, and you can actually mani manipulate this image in PaintShop Pro. So if you wanted to, I actually have the color changer thing here uh, already selected. So if you want to change this to a different color, and um, it actually creates a temp file for it. So the neat thing is, I think if I, you just hit save now, it saves to back to the temp file. 
and yeah, and iClone will actually automatically see the change in that temp file and update it. So you can do, um, you know, manipulations like that. It's kind of cool in that you can say, um, you know, you can draw right on the, the texture maps if you wanted to and, and save them back. So anyway, that's it. And uh, hopefully that helps you out. Uh, cheers, dude.